Hi, my name is Muhammad Tar, and in this lecture we will talk about binary trees. How binary tree works? What is the structure of binary tree? And what are different types of binary trees we have? So this is an introductory lecture, and we will try to explore the basics of binary tree in this lecture. And in the subsequent videos, we will explore more about binary trees, their advanced features, their operations. So let's get started. So the overview is the basic structure of binary tree, the construction, how it can be constructed, important terminologies related to binary trees, size and depth, and computation of the height and the total number of nodes that uh, we have in the binary trees and how we can get those using using some formulas. And finally, we will see the binary search tree, which is the basic for implementation of the advanced binary trees. So if you look at this uh, simple figure, here we have a natural tree. And so this is a basic binary tree. This is a basic tree, a natural tree. And as we know, every tree has a root. Every tree has a root. This is a root. And this is a starting point of a, binary, of a tree. And then we have some leaves, right? I'm representing leaves with L. And there are some fruits. Some trees have fruits, some trees don't. And I'm representing with F. So in the same way, the tree that we have in computer science follows the same structure and rules that a natural tree has. So we have a root. We call it the root node. I'm representing with RN root node. And then we have some branches. And these are the branches. and further when they grows so we have some further nodes so these are further the nodes of those branches and as you can see here it's a simple tree structure that follows the same one that we have in a natural tree but it's an ups upside down structure here we have a root at the bottom and in our trees we have a root at the top so let's see further what other properties we have. So the basic structure is a, a tree is an abstract data type. And one entry point, that's the root. So here we have a root. This is the entry point, the starting point of a tree structure. Each node is either a leaf or an internal node. So as you can see here, we have total five nodes. Let's say one two, three, four, and five. So these are the leaf nodes. These are leaf nodes. Why we call them leaf nodes? Because they don't have any children associated with them. As with this one, this is an internal node. I can call, I'm representing with I N. So this, uh, this node, the node number two has two children. One is on left hand side and one is on right hand side. So uh, the leaf nodes are the one which do not have any children and internal nodes are the one these the root also is internal node because it also has two children so the internal nodes are the one who have some children associated with them an internal node has one or more children it can have one or more children an internal node is said to be parent of its child so we can say here uh, let me make it a bit cleaner. So we can say here that this node is a parent for these two nodes. And these two nodes are the children of this node. Right? Okay, so the binary tree is something structured like this. So we have a root, a node, which is the top node. And then the root node contains references for their children. So as you can see here, the root node, which is A, has a reference of its left child and has a reference for its right child also. In the same way, the node B has a, ha, contains the reference for its left child and contains the reference for its right child. On the other hand, the, uh, the node C only has the right child but do not have any left child. So this node or this uh, left reference, we will call them null. It's a null reference. So this is the basic structure of a binary tree. Okay, now let's see some parts of binary tree. 
a binary tree is composed of zero or more nodes as you can see here these are all the nodes and the this f is a value this b and g these are the values these can be a string right this can be a string integer or this can be an object right this can be an object also and we will see this uh, later okay so each node contains a value of some sort a reference of pointer to the left child or it can be null a reference of pointer to the right child or it can be null so as you can see here the root f has a reference of its child b and also its child g and likewise b has a reference of child a and reference of child d but the the leaf nodes like c they do not have any reference a binary tree may be empty contain no nodes if not empty a binary tree has a root node every node in the binary tree is reachable from the root node by a unique path now what does it mean let's try to understand this so for example if i have this tree this is an example tree and i want to get to the node e so what i'll do i'll start from the root node i'll start from here and how can i get to e what path i'll have to follow to get to e so i'll from uh, a i'll go to b from b i'll go to d and from d i'll reach e so and if i want to get to h so what what path i'll have to follow the path would be f to g g to i and i to h so if i want to get to any node every path will be unique path right for first one for first one we can say the path is f b d and e for second one we can say the path will be the path will be f g i and h right here my starting point was e and my ending node or my target node was e and in the second in second time uh, my my target node was e a node with no left child and no right child is called leaf as we already we already have discussed okay now see some of the terminologies of binary tree uh, we have covered most of the terminologies let's uh, just uh, review them a node a node is a point in a tree each node has a lab label value at each node so in the figure each circle contains a node so each circle contains a node and these are some values and it can be as i uh, discussed earlier it can be numeric value it can be an object it can be anything right node sorry root a root root at the top the node at the top every tree has one root in the figure f is the root node in the figure here we can say we can see f is the root node parent the node that is directly above a node in the figure the node d is a parent of node c and e it's uh, the node d is a parent for c and e children a node directly beneath the node in the figure the node c and e are the children node in the figure node c and e are the children nodes in a nodes a node with children in the figure node in the figure nodes b d e f g and i are the inner nodes so b d g f and i these are the inner nodes leaf nodes a node with no children in the figure node a nodes a c and h node a c e and h are leaves a subtree a node and all its descendants so a subtree is here for f all its descendants so these all are descendant and this whole is a subtree of f so in the same way on the right hand side this whole tree this whole these these all nodes are children of f right likewise for b this structure this structure is is a subtree of of b so for g this structure is a is subtree of g right 
so the subtree actually the all the descendants uh, of of that node now let's see the size and depth of a tree the size and depth depth of a binary tree is the number of nodes in it right so let's say if i try to uh, count the number of nodes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 so the size in this of this tree is 12 right the depth of a node is its distance from the root so the depth is for the depth let's let's divide this tree in levels these are levels right so we have the the first level is the zero level the root level is always the zero level level zero level one level two level three and level four so we have total four levels here for this tree for this tree a is depth zero so the a is a depth zero and e is a depth so the here e here is uh, node e which is at depth 2 the depth of a binary tree is the depth of its deepest node so the actual depth if i want to calculate the depth of this binary tree so i'll say 4 is the actual depth because the the deepest node is l and which is the last node so if, uh, if i want to know the depth of any tree so i will get the depth of the last node and whatever the depth is i'll call that one as a depth of the tree that uh, this tree has depth 4 right okay now let's look at some uh, of the uh, types of the binary trees full binary tree a full binary tree sometimes proper binary tree we can we can call them proper binary tree or two tree is a tree in which every node other than the leaves has two children so as you can see here this is the leaf node these are the, this is the leaf left these all are the leaf nodes so other than those every node has two children the so root has two children this one and this one has two children and all these four nodes have two children respectively so this is a definition of a full binary tree now what is complete binary tree in a complete binary tree every level except possibly the last one is completely filled and all the nodes in the last level are as far left as possible it can have between 1 and 2 h 2 h nodes at the last level edge so as we can see here this is the last level right this is the last level and every node above that is complete so a has two nodes b has two nodes c has two nodes and d has two nodes e has two nodes f only has one node and uh, and g do not have any node. okay so the total number of nodes which is 2 raised to power d plus 1 minus 1 where d is the depth of the tree so if i want to know about total number of nodes of any uh, of any tree so i have a formula where 2 d is the depth of the node and with this formula i can get the uh, the total number of nodes of a tree so for example for this tree let's say if i want i want to calculate the total number of nodes so 2 raised to power d plus 1 minus 1 so what i'll say 2 what is the depth let's divide them into 11 let's let me clean it first and let now come cleanly divide them into some levels so it's level 0 level 1 level 2 and level 3 so 2 raised to power d plus 1 minus 1 and i can say 2 raised to power 3 plus 1 minus 1 which is equals to 2 raised to power 4 minus 1 and which is equals to uh, 2 to the 4, 4 to the 8, 8 to the 16, 16 minus 1 which is equals to 15. Now let's count the number of uh, elements here. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. Only 12. But because it is not a comp uh, not a full tree, if we make it full, one here and two here, 
right here so now it's 12 it's 13 14 and 15 so with this formula we can get the total number of nodes of a tree if we know the depth of the tree right now the height of the tree the for the height of the tree uh, we have the formula log of uh, n plus 1 minus 1 where n is the total number of nodes now with this formula we know the total number of nodes of this tree is equals to 15 now let's apply this formula to get the height for example if we don't know the height in this case we know the height that's how we got the, uh, the total number of nodes but let's for the sake of uh, understanding let's say we do not know the height of a tree but we know the total number of nodes so how can we get the to, uh, height of the tree log of n plus 1 minus 1 so log here base is 2 right base is 2 n is 15 plus 1 minus 1 and log base 2 of 16 minus 1 now how can we get the log of log of 16 with base 2 so we so we will uh, multiply the two the number of times we could get to 16 2 into 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 8 to the 16 so the total number of twos if when we count the total number of two we will get four right one two three and four total count is total count is four so the here the answer is four minus one which is equals to three and the total and the uh, the height of this tree we know is three also zero one two and three right this is how we can calculate the depth uh, the height of the tree we can also call them the depth right and we can also get uh, the total number of nodes now let's look at the binary search tree so in computer science binary search tree is sometimes called ordered or sorted sorted binary, binary uh, trees uh, are a particular type of container a data structure that stores items right such as numbers names and etc in memory a binary search tree is sorted if every node in the tree is larger than or equal to its left descendant its left descendant and is smaller than or equal to its right descendant now what does that mean let's see this structure we have a node with the value 10 right which we have a root node the left hand side of the root node is less than the root and the right hand side is greater than the root right so the left hand side is less than the root and right hand side is greater than the root so in the same way if we look at the root 15 uh, the left hand side is again the less than the root and right hand side is greater than the root so we'll have have to follow this uh, uh, rule to get the binary search tree and most of our application is are based on the binary search tree when we look at the further um, trees the advanced trees they will follow uh, the binary search tree rules so this is uh, a basic introduction of trees so in this lecture we saw the tree and its basic structure the parts of binary trees the terminologies used for binary trees size and depth the types of binary trees the height computation and size computation and binary search trees. Thank you.